There are lots of different types of bonding that you need to know really, really well. In this video, I'm going to look at metallic bonding. You also need to know about covalent bonding and ionic bonding. There are loads of other videos in this playlist that take you through that. And if you want practice questions, because practice questions are the only way you're going to succeed at this, you can go over to my website and get my workbook and that will help you out. When we look at the bonding within a metal, we have these cations, these positive cations, in a fixed position. And they are sitting in a sea of delocalized electrons and these electrons are free to move around and these two things in combination lead to the properties that we see common to metals. A giant ionic lattice is going to have a high melting point and a high boiling point because while these electrons are free to move around the cations are fixed in place. The attraction between the positive and negative, the positive ions and the negative electrons is incredibly, incredibly strong. And a large temperature, a large amount of energy is going to be needed to be put in to break these metallic bonds, to move these cations from their position in the lattice. Metals are good conductors of electricity because electricity is just electrons moving and here we have a delocalized electrons that can move anywhere within the lattice. Metals are malleable, meaning they can be hammered or pressed into different shapes or into very thin sheets. And metals are ductile, which means they can be stretched. They can be drawn out into wires. And again, it is the properties, the way that the cations and the electrons interact with each other that gives it the malleability and the ductility. We have layers within this structure. These layers can slide over each other. They can move past each other, which means there's a little bit of flexibility in there, which gives rise to these properties. Yes. 